okay, okay, okay. Uh, we're going to finish the spread out, okay? Because I have, we have, let me, let me remind you, we have this page that we did. Sorry about the glare, all that, all the light on there. And then this is a pocket, and this is the opening, and we have our lovely little peek-a-boo peek pocket, uh, I don't know, <laughs> window, peek-a-boo window. And then we have this center page that we have our pocket here and pocket here. And of course, because it's a paper bag, we've got a pocket here. And remember, we're leaving this because we don't know what we're going to do just yet. But so we have this. Um, now I have this piece. I want to bring some of this over back over here. And I want to get some of this pink into this area so that's not the only place that there's pink, okay? Does that make sense? I'm going to pull you guys out a little bit so you can see more. There we go. Okay. Um, and then we have our... <laughs> so hard. We have the flap and our pocket. Now, I had the cutting off of this. And then I have these two pieces and I have the butterfly piece, okay? Um, so I was thinking in order to bring this over onto this side of the page, I had this here, I think with that wide green border, I'm loving it. But I wanted to do something and I found in some of, I don't know what it did with it. Oh, here it is. In some of the um, papers that I printed out from Fairyland, from Dreams, etc. I think I'm going to stick this on here. And then I used on this page, I used this just hem lace. And so I think I'm going to incorporate this. And I'm also going to use some more of this because all of that is on this page. So I want to bring it over because this is like our main inside spread. Okay. Um, so when you have it opened up to the, to the back, like it is, you know, you want all this to flow really nicely. Okay. So let's get going here. So I am going to keep uh, this piece over um, a little bit more to the edge because I'm going to use this um, lace. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this down. This is just the cutting from my other. I, I didn't ha even measure it. It just fits perfectly. So I said, well, it's meant to be. And I, I mean, yeah, could I make it, well, I couldn't make it bigger, but could it use a bigger piece? Yes, but at the same time, I kind of like that I'm getting a bigger green border around it. Um, yeah, I, I like that. I do have a pencil mark here I'm going to erase. Okay, so we've got that. So a little bit of this lace hem, hem lace, whatever you call it. Just don't don't have, call it hemlock <laughs> and I'm going to cut it the size I need it which is going to be the same size as pretty much the same size as the butterfly paper okay so there's that and I love the fact that the green is going to shine through it and I want it to not come over the edge. In fact, I like, I don't know, do I like seeing a little bit of the green? I think I do. I think I like seeing a little bit of the green. So I am going to use my Fabri-Tac and I'm just gonna kind of write down where the main flowers hit. I'm just going to run a line. Because the flowers are pretty much right in the center and that's gonna work for me. Whatever you guys need to do. And I do want to leave a little bit 
of a green border. Try and make it even. Try not to push too hard where the glue comes through the lace. Because this is, you know, the hem lace is, you know, pretty, pretty thin. Those flowers are kind of thick, but uh, th this is a this is a vintage hem lace. It's not, it's not the stuff you buy now. Um, and then this I did with only having the one glue. I can slide this up underneath that, and I think that really kind of adds a little more yumminess to it. I'm not going to make this a tuck spot or anything. I'm just going to glue this on. Now, if you guys have a, you know, your different ephemera. Um, that you use or if you have stamps that you want to um, maybe have some kind of saying that you stamp onto a piece of paper and tear it up so it looks um, you know like you got it off some old piece of paper crumble it up and and uh, which I, I could have done that with this but it's too late now um, but it looks crumpled up it it the the it looks like in the paper there's crumples and stuff so and then I have this little piece and I'm not really sure I know I'm going to want to put something down on this and I want this to come down at a little bit of an angle I don't want it to go straight across because I don't really want it covering up my letters but because I don't know exactly what I'm going to put here possibly just like a button or something like that, a button, button. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna leave that for right now. It's not gonna be in any in, in any way or anything, but I'm happy with this. I think that looks great and it incorporates the blue from all of the pages. I'm loving it. Okay, so I'm gonna move over here now so you can see what I'm doing here. Um, I am going to grab this, this is, remember, um, material, sticky back material that I have. And I am going to put a piece of this across the top of this pocket. And I'm going to give that a cut. Be one reason is that this piece that I had left is long enough this way. In fact, it's too long. I'm going to have to cut it down, but it's not tall enough. So I thought, perfect. I will use this. It will extend the paper up to where I need it to be. And it's going to also incorporate it from the other one. So I am a happy camper with that. So I'm going to cut this down so it will fit on our page nicely. Yay! <laughs> Uh, it feels so weird that I am not edging everything, you know, inking it. Um, but it's not bothering me. <laughs> it's kind of nice not having to do that. And I think I am going to try and cut this just ever so slightly. So that it will kind of conform to the little roundness up there maybe a little bit more all right let's see those big clunky scissors i love them for material but they are big clunky scissors okay that works very nicely so maybe a little weird um but i think it'll work and i might even you know what we could do is let's just cut this one out see I want you to see how quick you can fussy cut something out just on a whim because normally I do this before I get on like I did with the paper now I'm not going to worry about the antenna I'm just going to get myself a nice butterfly. Boom. 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 
wiggle them back and forth a little bit so that it's not just a nice smooth solid edge there we go okay so there's my butterfly let's get this glued down I'm trying to make this fast because I've already done the last 15 minutes um, yesterday I believe I did it yesterday so the first 15 minutes of this video I did yesterday so if I tell you the same thing I'm sorry uh, I just could not get back in here to finish this up but we are all packed now I'm gonna go ahead and take <laughs> okay I have glue on my fingers I don't like glue on my fingers Wah. there we go got my wine out of the way uh, we're all packed and ready to go. My husband's in bed sleeping because he'll drive. We have, it's 12 and a half hours, I think. But with the dogs, it'll be about 14. So, big day. We're going to leave at 3 in the morning. And, of course, I probably won't go to bed. I'm a night owl. I will sleep in the truck. Okay. And I do forget. I do want to just so because I, I like washi tape. I, I you know, it, it's made to come up. I don't know that this is like a truly permanent bond. So I'm going to make it one. All right. So let's get this up here where we want it. Try and make the top edge that you're leaving the same as your bottom edge, just so it all looks very nicely done. There we go. There. Now, I wonder if I did this. Hmm. Maybe if I had one of those butterflies. I don't know that I like that. What about this over here? I could put that right there. That might be good right there. Yeah. We'll see. I'm going to stick it right there. But we'll see. So anyway, here is this flap. And I have the green and the blue. And it, unfortunately, these are not the same width. Do I have another blue piece? I do. Not the same width. Huh. Let's see what else I have in here. I do have another piece of this. Not the same. I could cut this down. I And I think I have enough even with cutting the butterfly out. So I think I will do that. I think I'm going to cut this the same width. And it will just be a wide green border that we see, which is fine. So I'm going to make a little mark here. Remember, there's no rules. There's no rules. It's what you like, what you want, what works for you. There's no rules. There's no wrong, oh, that's so wrong. You shouldn't have done that. No. In art, there are no rules. It is whatever you want. Okay. I, I'm going to have to try and figure out how to get all this on here. Okay, so um, let's get these marked up. And I kind of want the same size border all the way around. So I'm going to go right about there. And then I want the same size border from this page over to this flap as well. And make a mark right about here okay so I'm gonna cut both of these 
So we have that. And we have this. Okay, or we can do this and this. Huh. I don't know which way I like it better. I think maybe I like this better. I think maybe I do. I think I do. And then let's pull... Yeah, I kind of even like that butterfly on the butterfly. Yeah. Okay, let's glue these puppies down. And then that is going to finish our spread. And let's see. I'm going to leave tomorrow morning, and we're going to get in Friday night. And my grandson is going to spend the weekend with us. Because his mother has a weekend concert she's going to with one of her aunts. And it's a hard thing, but somebody's got to do it. Take care of that cute little baby. <laughs> yes, and I'll get to hear all about his school. And yeah, it's first year. He's going to preschool because she was too worried putting him in school school because nobody's wearing masks and she has her she's also taking care of um, a grandparent and so she's got a lot on her plate that poor kid does got a lot on her plate so we're glad that she's found something to go and do that she really enjoys she loves live music, as does my husband. In fact, they have tickets to several things while we're down there. I can't go to uh, live music. Um, I get a migraine, so I, I lose out on that, and I miss I miss doing it. I used to love going, um, but as I've gotten older, things just don't work like they used to. Y'all know how that is. Okay, so we have, and I don't think, this is heavy enough, I don't think, because because a file folder, that I'm going to do any kind of closure with this. That's it. I love this. I love this. I still am going to do something right here. Don't know what it is yet, though. Probably will wait. Um, but it needs, even if it's just a little strip of this, let's see. Just to, just to finish it off, that's too wide and it's not the right color. But, yeah, I think that there will definitely be a little something-something coming down here. And when I get to the decorating part, um, which I don't, I don't really, I mean, I am doing some decorating. But, I mean, there's certain amounts to me that you have to do as you go because it makes sense. But then afterwards, when we get into doing some of, you know, some of the final stuff, that's when I will find something to go on this page that's going to help really make it all work better. Um, and I'll find something for this. But there you go, guys. That's our full spread for the first pages. So what's coming up next is we're going to close these up. And I want to see... how we're looking so far and we're doing fine we're doing fine we have we have filled our little space up but we are not uh you know alligatoring it or whatever they call it. alligator mouth I don't know I've heard it called lots of different things but it's not over stuffed um and I still you know I I will have a nice tag here I will have a tag here oh Yes, I did this from a, I don't know, Discover card thingy. And I wanted to explain something to you on these. When you do these things, and it's a, it's a fold, 
Okay, it folds this way. Let me get my, make sure you're getting it nice and straight and fold it over. When you do these, I this is how I do mine anyway. I leave it straight and I put glue on the score lines. I glue all of my paper. This is two sheets. Uh, this is actually upside down, but I wanted to match the color so it, it kind of looked like it really belonged together. But you really can't tell. It, you can tell it's writing, but you really can't tell the upside down from the right side up. Um, but I always put extra glue at the seams because when you fold them, if you didn't get those seams really well, the paper will pucker. So you always want to make sure that when you do something like this, that you get on these seams some good glue, good amount of glue, so that your paper doesn't pucker and all that good stuff. And I love the silver edge on this. I thought that was really sharp looking. So we are good to go. Um, of course, I will do stuff on the inside, of course, but for right now, this is going to go right here. Let's see, I think I want, I want the little bit of pink shining out because we have that. We could, let's see, I have pink there too. I mean, you can even put it this way if you want to. There's no, no rhyme or reason. You can do it whichever way you want. And because there's paper on it, so let's see. We can put it that way, and you get little bits of pink and yellow, and yeah, there you go. I love it. I love it. How much fun is this? Okay, guys, that's it for now. I love you all so much. Thank you so much. And you will be seeing this on Friday when I'm on the road. So if you want to, Facebook me or message me and see how I'm doing. Because I won't have nothing to do but sit there and look at my phone. And I did take some things to cut. But usually I have a dog in my lap. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to say hi while I'm traveling, you do it. Because I will respond. <laughs> Love you all. Mwah. Talk to you later. Talk to you from Florida next time. Bye. Simultaneously.